Beans for Live, a casual take with your boy Stephen Pepper, here to give a take off my chest. Before I get into my take, um, you probably noticed, new background. Uh, summer's over, I'm moving into my senior year, this is my off-campus house, I'm in a new room. So I'm going to be here other than Thanksgiving, spring break, winter break. So until next summer, get used to it. But I think as of right now, it's a work in progress, but LeBron flag, which I had in my room, but you couldn't really see last year, Judge Jersey, which is which we're about to talk about him, actually. And other than that, I can't make the best background. The curtain looks like trash, but it is what it is. I have a, such a small space to work with and have to put it in a certain way to have everything fit that this is what it's going to be like. So, again, get used to it. But let's get into what I want to talk about today. You know, growing up, I used to hear about this guy named Barry Bonds a lot. Oh, Pete, this guy Bonds, he can hit home runs anywhere more than anybody else. I used to hear that all the time by people growing up, but to me, Bonds was always some mythical figure rather than a player because in his dominance, I was either not born or too young to truly appreciate his greatness real time, other than what I've heard from older generations. And I love Bonds. I think Bonds is the GOAT. I, I even have a Barry Bonds shirt, but again, I think he's the GOAT, but I couldn't really appreciate him because I was too young. But now I understand how great of a player Bonds is because my generation has another. His name is Aaron Judge, who not only do I think he's the best player in baseball right now, I think he is peaking as the best non-steroid hitter in history. Yesterday, not career, by the way, not career. I don't want to hear anything about, oh, career 500 hitter on home run. Just at who at their best non-steroid user I think Aaron Judge, at his best, is better than anybody else. Yesterday, the big guy went yard, not once, but twice, to put his season total at 51. We still have a week left in August. That is insane, which puts him now at pace for 63 on the year, which would be the American League home run single season record. I wonder who has the record right now. Let me check. Oh, it's Aaron Judge, who did it two years ago for 62. But surpassing the 51, the but surpassing the 50 home run threshold is something that he's done not once, not twice, but now three times in his career. Only four other players ever have done it that many times. That being Bonds, Ruth, McGuire, Sosa. Um, that's pretty good company, if you ask me. But what makes the accomplishment even greater is when you actually take a look to dive into the list, you realize, oh. Steroid hitter, steroid hitter, steroid hitter, a guy who played in an all-white league. And Judge is doing it against a better pitching. So when you put it all together, you understand, oh, Judge stands alone. Oh, but what about Pujols or Miggy? What about him? Statistically, their best seasons don't come close to Judge's as far as um, home runs, WRC+, plus, OBP, slugging, OPS, and war. They just don't. I mean, I, I trust me, I like Miggy. He was the man when I was growing up. Pujols, I have his jersey. He's one of my favorite players ever. But if you look at the numbers here, check out their best season as far as WRC+, plus, which is a good stat to determine weighted runs average, which takes statistics such as the runs you've created, which factors also in ballpark and era. You sort it out. Miggy's best season's 193 when he won his triple crown. Pujols in 08 was 184. Judge has two in the 200s this year in 2022. And then, again, he has 51 home runs this year. Miggy, when he won his triple crown, only had 44. And Pujols only had 37. And we are still have a week left in August. I mean, it's, the WRC Plus especially, again, that's weighted runs created. Judge, his season right now at 227, sixth all time, only behind Bonds, who did it three times, and Ruth, who did it twice. But again, steroid user and a guy who played in a league before minorities. But just to put in perspective, what this guy is doing right now has only been done in history that pure contact and power and the ability to drive in that many runs is what Bonds and Ruth have done. And if you ask anybody who's the greatest player ever, they're either going to tell you Barry Bonds or your grandpa's going to tell you Babe Ruth. It's one or the other. And what Judge is doing right now 
is what they did. But I would put an asterisk next to them. It's like, why would you even pitch to this guy, Aaron Judge? Why? Like, every time Aaron Judge is at the plate, I think it's going to be a home run. It's like what I said about Steph Curry the other week. Steph Curry is the only guy in NBA history who, in my lifetime, when I watch him go up against my team, anytime he catches the ball behind the arc and loads up for a three, I think it's going in every single time. I double team him anytime he touches the ball. Same thing with Aaron Judge. Anytime he's up there working the count and taking a swing and anything in the strike zone, I think it's going to be a home run. I don't think it's going to be a ball. I don't think it's going to be a ground ball. I don't think it's going to be a pop-up. I think it's going to be a home run. It's like Steph Curry with the three. He has mastered it. But growing up, I used to hear all the time about this guy named Barry Bonds. He's pretty good. He hits all these home runs. I think Bonds hit, what, 71, 73 um, in the early 2000s with the Giants? But again, that's a steroid user. When I think about the best non-steroid user ever, you think about your guys like Pujols, your Miggies, your Griffey Juniors. But to me, what Aaron Judge has been doing this last three years is the best non-steroid user peak ever. But I appreciate everybody tuning in this episode of A Casual Take. Follow my social media, stay updated on all things related to the show. Till next time, see you.